गति गुरु में भजे गुरु नई वहस्मी नमो गुरवे न गुरो परम शिशुरस्मि गुरो मतिरस्ति गुरो मम पाही गुरो गुरुरेव गतिर्गुरु में भजे गुरु नई वहस्म नमो गुरवे न गुरो परम शिशुरस्मि गुरो मतिरस्ति गुरो मम पाही गुरो गुरुरेव गतिर्गुरु में भजे गुरु नई वहस्मि नमो गुरवे न गुरो परम शिशुरस्मि गुरो मतिरस्ति गुरो मम पाही गुरो ब्रवीमि संस्कृत वाच ध्यामी संस्कृत हृदय कुर्वे सेवांचकायन वंदे संस्कृत मातर यो नर संस्कृत व्योमी हाल रमते मुदा संस्कृति चस्कार विंदते नात्र संशय हयग्रीव हयग्रीव हयग्रीवे वदे तस्य निस्सरते वाणी जन्हु कन्या प्रवाहवत असाध्य साधक स्वामीन असाध्यम तव किं वद रामदूत दया सिंधो मत्कार्य साधय प्रभो शुक्लांबरधर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपात वागीशाद्यामन सह सर्वाक्रमे यृतकृत्या स्यु तमाजानन दौर्भिर्युक्ता चतुर्भिकटिकमणिमयी मक्षमालान हस्ते नैक पद्म चुक पुस्तक चापरेण भाषा कुंदेन्दुशंख स्फटिकमणि सामेवाग्देवते यमसतु वदने सर्वदा सुप्रसन्न पूजत राम रामेति मधुर मधुराक्षर आरुह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाकिकोकिल वाकर्मुनि सिंह से कविता वनचारिण सिन्वन राम कथानदनयाति परांगति यिबं सतत रामचरितामृत सागर अतृप्तस्त मुनि वंदे प्राचेत सकलमशं गोष्पदीवाशिमशकीकृतराक्षस रायण महामला वंदे नीलात्मज अंजनानंदन वीर जानकीशोकनाशन कपीशमक्षता वंदे लंका भयंक उल्लंघ्य सिंधो सलील सलील यशोकवन्हींजनकात्मजाया आदा तेन ददा लंका नमा तम प्राजलिराजनेय आंजनेयमति पाटलानन कांचनाद्रिकमनीय विग्रह पारिजात तरुमूलवासी भावयाम पवमानंदन यघुनाथ कीर्तन त्र त्रतमस्तकांजलि बाष्पवारी पिपूर्णलोचन मारुति नमतराक्षस नमतराक्षसातक मनोजव मारुतुल्य वेगम जितेन्द्रिय बुद्धिमता वरिष्ठ वातात्मज वानर यूथ मुख्यम श्रीरामदूत शिसा नमा यर्णाजलि संपुटर हर हिबत्यादरात वाकर्वदनारविंद गलित रायणाख्यम मधु जन्म व्याधिजरा विपत्ति मरण अत्यंत सोपद्रव संसार सहाय गति पुमा विष्णो पदम शाश्वत तदुपगत सस संधियोगम सम मधुरोपनताक्यबद्धम रघुवर चरित मुनि प्रणीत दश शिषश्च वधन निशाम यम वाकि गिरी संभूता राम सागर गामिनी पुना तो भुवन पुण्यायण महानदी श्लोकसार सकीर्ण सर्गकोल संकुल कांडग्राह महामीन वंदे रायणाणव वेद वेद्ये परे पुंसि जाते दशरथात्मजे वेद प्राचेत सादासी साक्षाद्राणात्म वै दे सहित सुरद्रुमतले हईमे महामंटपे मध्ये पुष्पकसने मणिमे वीरासने सुस्थित अग्रे वाचयति प्रभंजन सुते तत्व मुनिभ्य परम व्याख्या भरतादिपरिवृत राम भजे श्याम वामे भूमि सुता पुरश्च हनुमा पश्चात सुमित्रा सुता शत्रुघ्नो भरत पार्श्वलोर्वायुवादी 
ಕೋಣೇಶು ಚ ಸುಗ್ರೀವಶ್ಚ ವಿಭೀಷಣಶ್ಚ ಯುವರಾಟ್ಟ ರಾಸುತೋ ಜಾಂಬವಾನ್ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ನೀಲ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ನೀಲ ಸರೋಜ ಕೋಮಳ ರುಚಿ ರಾಮಂ ಭಜೆ ಶ್ಯಾಮಳ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ರಮಾಯ ಸ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣಾಯ ದೇವ್ಯೈ ಚತಸ್ಯೈ ಜನಕಾತ್ಮಜಾಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ರುದ್ರೇಂದ್ರ ಯಮಾನಿಲೇಭ್ಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಚಂದ್ರಾರ್ಕ ಮರುದ್ಗಣೇಭ್ಯ ಧರ್ಮಾತ್ಮ ಸತ್ಯಸಂಧಶ್ಚ ರಾಮೋ ದಾಶರಥಿರ್ಯದಿ ಪೌರುಷೇ ಚ ಪ್ರತಿದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಶರೈ ನಂಜಿ ರಾವಣಿ ಸಕೃದೇವ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಯತವಾಸ್ಮೀತಿ ಯಾಚತೆ ಅಭಯ ಸರ್ವೂತೆಭ್ಯ ದಾಮ್ಯೇತ್ರತ ಮಮ ಮಾ ನಿಷಾದ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾನ್ ತ್ವಮಗಮ ಶಾಶ್ವತಿ ಸಮಾಹ ಯತ್ಕರೋಂ ಚ ಮಿಥುನಾದೇಕಂ ಅವಧಿ ಕಾನಮೋಹಿತ ಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ಬಲಯಶೋಧೈ ಧೈರ್ಯ ನಿರ್ಭಯ ತ್ವರೋಗತ ಅಜಾಡ್ಯ ವಾಕ್ಪಟುತ್ಪಂಚ ಅನುಮತ್ಸ್ಮರಣೇತ್ ಶ್ರೀಹರ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಹರ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಹರ ನಮಃ ಜಾನಕೀಕಾಂತಸ್ಮರಣ ಜಯ ದಯ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಭಾರತ ಮಾತರ ಪ್ರಣಮ್ಯ ದೈವೀಂ ಸಾರಸ್ವತ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ಚ ನಕ್ ಮರ್ಯಾದಾ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನ ರಾಮಂ ನ ಸಮಗತೆಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ನಮಸ್ಸು ಮಾಂಜಲಿ ವ್ಯಾಹರಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸಂಕ್ಷೇಪ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಆಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ನೋ ದಿ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ these vedas have dharma inside them if we have to understand the dharma inside the vedas we have to study the vedas however our rishis have done the hard work of studying the vedas in detail and have given us two sets of granthas from which we can understand the dharma present in the vedas which are the two sets of granthas that the rishis have given one is one set of grantha is called itihasa the second set of granthas are called puranas we have a vakya itihasa purana bhyam vedam samupa brahmayet you can extrapolate or understand the dharma present in the vedas by understanding the itihasas and puranas amongst the itihasas the foremost itihasa that bharata or the world has is the ramayana shrimad valmiki ramayana the other itihasa is mahabharatam we have 18 puranas from which also we can understand the dharma the subject matter of today is shrimad valmiki ramayana in shrimad valmiki ramayana as we all know that it has seven kandas bala kanda ayodhya kanda aranya kanda kishkinda kanda sundara uh, sundara kanda yuddha kanda uttara kanda and it has 24000 shlokas this this grantha this entire itihasa was written by maharshi valmiki before maharshi valmiki wrote this grantha he had an experience with narada where narada explains to him the entire story of ramayana in a nutshell the concise explanation of the ramayana by narada to valmiki is called sankshepa ramayana in the north india some people call it moola ramayana 
in the south india in some places they call it shatashloki ramayana that is ramayana which has 100 shlokas so as the name itself suggests shatashloki ramayanam it has got 100 shlokas and this forms the first sarga of srimad valmiki ramayanam when it has come into a book form So the subject matter of Sankshepa Ramayanam is the conversation between Valmiki and Narada. This is the background that we have to understand when we start learning this Granta. So over a period of 9 to 10 days, from today to 29th, I think, we are ending on 29th. From today to 29th, we will study this, we will try to understand these 100 shlokas, their bhavartha, some meanings of the words. And pre predominantly, we will try to have some takeaways for us. What is that the message, message of the Ramayana? What is that Narada is telling through this shloka? What is that Valmiki is hinting through this shloka? All these things we will understand. So this is an effort or a journey to understand these 100 shlokas. The Mula Parayanam of these shlokas has been taught in another course by our popular teacher Soumya Nagaraj just 15 days back, I think. Just last week it got ended. So the Mula Parayanam is already, has already been done. For those who have attended that, this would, have, this would be a very nice uh, session where you will once you have learned this shloka, now you are coming to the meaning where you are learning the meaning. For those who know already the shloka, if you have directly come here also, it's a very good place to start. With. The format of the class will be that I will be teach, uh, trying to tell the uh, word to word meaning wherever possible and the bhavartha. However, questions will be taken only through the question answer panel and probably we will answer the questions only in the last day because we have 100 questions to cover, 100 shlokas to cover. So we want to see that these questions are answered only in the last day. With this, we start the first shloka. Tapasvadhyaya niratam tapasvi vadvidam varam Naradam Paripapracha Valmikir Munipungadam. If you see this sloka, if you want, if you try to understand the meaning of this sloka, we have two personalities mentioned here. From the name, we can easily identify. From the sloka itself, we can know. The first person here, which is mentioned, is Narada. The second person, which is mentioned in here is Valmiki. So from this itself, we understand that there is there are two characters in this first sarga. The name of the sarga is Narada Vakyam because Narada does most of the talking after four or five shlokas. So it is called Narada Vakyam. And Narada is one character and Valmiki is one character. Who is this Narada? Narada is the son of Brahma and Saraswati. Who is Valmiki? Valmiki is a great sage. He, he is a Brugu Prutra. He is a son of Brugu. His name is Ruksha. Some people call from the Bhargava Gotra, there is a Prachetasa. There, is, there was one Maharshi called Prachetas because Valmiki is the son of Prachetas. He is called Prachetasaha. He is called Prachetas. Prachetasaha, Prachetasa, Prachetasaha. Prachetasaha is the Prathama Vakti Ekavachanam form. Prachetas is another name. So Ruksha is one name. Prachetas is one name. Valmiki. How did Valmiki get this name? What is the meaning of 
in sanskrit the word valmika means an ant hill a person who has, who is born out of an ant hill or who came out of an ant hill valmika jataha he is called as valmiki hi valmikasya apatyam puman valmiki hi he is he came out as though he is the son of the valmika valmika is ant hill now what to, what made him to go what made him to have an ant hill around him he did lot of tapas penance therefore an ant hill grew around him varuna varuna bhagavan he is also varuna bhagavan is also called rachetas so because varuna bhagavan wanted to release him from the ant hill so rain poured heavy rain poured and because of varuna prasada the valmika the ant hill it came down the ant hill which was which grew which which was growing around him it came down therefore he is also called as prachetas reasons for having the name prachetas there are two reasons one is there is a, there was a rishi called bhruguvamshaja rishi called prachetas and his son is uh, prachetas and because he is from varuna is also from that varuna's name is also prachetas and therefore prachetas so ruksha bhargava prachetas these are the three names of valmiki valmiki is a very a nice name which which is a rishi who came, who has come from the ant hill now the story goes like this we should understand some prelude before we get into the context of this tapaswadhyaya niratam see all of us know ramayana we have studied ramayana in the ayodhya kanda of ramayana rama lakshmana and sita they go they are met they, they are made to go to the forest rama because he wants to do he wants to do pitruvakya paripalana he decides to go to the forest lakshmana decides to follow him sita also decides to follow him they go to the forest this everybody knows now when they meet guha and when they are going from there they are going to bharadwaja ashrama bharadwaja suggests that you please go to chitrakuta and settle yourself that is a very nice place to settle so just before they are reaching when they reach chitrakuta the first ashram they see is of valmiki this is where everything starts so rama lakshmana and sita meet valmiki in chitrakuta in the ayodhya kanda very first time this is told in the 56th sarga of ayodhya kanda 16th shloka that rama met valmiki and valmiki was pleased to meet rama and while he was talking to valmiki rama instructs lakshmana to build an ashram for himself so lakshmana builds the ashram in chitrakoot by the side and they all stay there so valmiki is almost a neighbor to rama in chitrakoot neighbor means it is not like the way we are organized in city we do, there is no even gap between one house to another house it is a forest there is lot of space so chit in chitrakoot only valmiki is staying there only rama lakshmana and sita are staying so the first time valmiki meets rama lakshmana and sita in chitrakoot so he is mesmerized when he sees rama lakshmana and sita the qualities he is observing rama lakshmana and sita and he is uh, he is he is astonished at the great qualities of rama he is observing rama lakshmana and sita in uh, what is happening there uh, after some time when they are uh, living there they 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 are very happily they are living for some days then bharata comes along with the army then there is a sabha held rama talks to bharata there is a sabha which is held all those things are being observed by valmiki 
though he is not an invitee, he observes everything and he understands Rama's qualities at that instance from there. Now, this is the first experience of Valmiki with Rama, as quoted in the Valmiki Ramayana. Now, based on this experience, Valmiki starts thinking. He is a Maharshi. He starts thinking. So the story of Ramayana continues and probably it completes and Rama is back to Ayodhya, all those things happens. Ra Valmiki is, keep, is thinking as to what is that? I, I am a Maharishi. I have I have attained the Atma Jnana or whatever I have to do. Atma Vichara he's done. He wants to offer his Tapas Shakti to the society. So he is thinking of certain things. So he is thinking of certain things and when he is thinking of certain things, at that time, Narada arrives. Narada arrives and there starts a conversation and that conversation is this first shloka. This is the prelude you have to understand in this way. Tapasvadhyaya niratam tapasvi vadvidamvaram Naradam paripapracha palmikir munipungavam. As we understood, there are two people here, Narada and Valmiki. Narada, Naradam is in Dvitiya Vibhakti. Naradam, the adjectives for Narada are Tapasvadhyaya Niratam. Vagvidam Varam. Munipungavam. Naradam. So all these connected words are adjectives, visheshana to the word Narada. What does each one mean? So who is that Narada who came? He is Narada who was devoted to Tapas and Swadhyaya. Tapas Swadhyaya Niratam. He was always engrossed in Tapas and Swadhyaya. We will first do the word to word meaning, then do the total meaning and then go for the inner meaning wherever it is required. Vagvidam Varam. Narada was Vagvidam Varam. Varam means the best. Sreshtaha. Amongst those who can speak in a nice way. See, not only was Narada Tapaswadhyaya Niratam. Swadhyaya means self-study. Tapaha means Acharana Shilaha. Not only was Narada Tapaswadhyaya Niratam was engrossed and devoted in Tapas and Swadhyaya, he was also, he knew how to talk and articulate his knowledge to others. And he was the best amongst those who could articulate their knowledge to others. Vagvidam, best among the people who could speak well. Saraswati and Brahma, they have a lot of children. Amongst them, Narada was the best. Vagvidam Varam. Or any other people who can speak better, Narada was one of the best. Munipungavam, he was the greatest among the Munis. Greatest among the sages. Munipungavam, so three adjectives for Narada. To that Narada, Tapasvi Valmiki, Valmiki, who was a Tapasvi. Tapasvi means Narada who, who used to, who did lot of penance, who had done lot of penance. Such Valmiki asked Narada, who was the greatest among Munis, who was in, devoted to Tapas and Swadhyaya and who was the best among the people, who was the best among the orators. So if you see the Anvaya, Tapasvi Valmikihi, Tapaswadhyaya Niratam, Vagvidam Varam Munipungavam Naradam, Paripa Pracha. What is this? Why this Paripa Pracha, Pari Upasarga along with Papracha? Papracha means asked. This is the verb in this shloka. 
Paripa Pracha asked. Pari indicates he asked with respect. Now Narada uh, Valmiki was always thinking. He had a lot of thoughts in his mind. He was always thinking about Rama, Lux, Rama, his qualities, etc. So the moment Narada came, he thought he thought that this is a right time to ask my questions or to share whatever are my thoughts. So we will understand what is asking and sharing. So he thinks that I should share my thoughts with Narada and he starts with us with the next loka where he asks a few questions. Before we proceed into the next loka, we can understand the total meaning. Tapasri Valmiki asked with respect Narada, who was the greatest among the sages, who was well established in Tapas and Swadhyaya and was the best orators. This is the bhava. This is the surface meaning. Now coming to the deeper meaning of this shloka. There are, if you take this shloka, actually this shloka itself will take 10 days to explain. That is the amount of message given by the commentators for this shloka. If I have time, I will explain this shloka again at the last, if I have time, in detail. Because this shloka has got so many tattvas. But one of the most important uh, bhava or tattva that we have to get from this shloka is, today we talk about Valmiki Ramayanam. We don't say it is Narada Ukta Valmiki Ramayanam. Something like that we don't say. We say Valmiki Ramayanam. The fame is to Valmiki. But Narada, what was his mission when he came to earth and when he came to see Valmiki? Narada had heard Ramayana from his father Brahma, Shatakoti Pravistaram, the entire Ramayana story, which was hundred, which was hundred crore shlokas. He had heard from Brahma. Now, Brahma gave a mission to Narada. He said, see, you have to go to the earth and see if you can spread this story of Rama, Ramayana to the people of earth. Because Rama's story contains a lot of innumerable values and dharma which can be useful for the people in the earth. This was the mission given by Brahma to his son Narada. So Narada has come here. All this is told in other Puranas which I am connecting here. So Narada has come here. Now straight away, Narada represents, symbolizes here a guru. A guru who has come to enlighten the knowledge present in a Rishi like, uh, Rishi like Valmiki. Now Valmiki represents a humble Shishya. Normally in our Sanatana Dharma, all the stories of the Puranas, the Itihasas, have come through a question answer from a Sishya to a Guru and the Guru answering it in the form of the entire Purana, the entire Itihasa. So this Ramayana is not an exception. So here also we have a, a Sishya Narada asking a Vinayashila Shishya Narada, asking a Audarya Gunayukta Guru, a Vinayashila Shishya Valmiki, sorry, a Vinayashila Shishya Valmiki, asking a Audarya Gunayukta Guru Narada. So the essence is, it is talking about Guru Lakshanam and Shishya Lakshanam. How should a Guru be? He should be always Tapas Swadhyaya Niratam. Tapas represents the Manas Shuddhi Karana Vratama Vrata Niyo uh, Manas Shuddhi Karana Vratama Vrata Niyamopa Niyama Niyama 
ಉಪವಾಸಾದಿ ಸತ್ಕರ್ಮಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಡು ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ರತಾಸ್ ವಿ ಡು ಏಕಾದಶಿ ವ್ರತ ವಿ ಡು ಪ್ರದೋಷ ವ್ರತ ವಿ ಫಾಲೋ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ನಿಯಮಾಸ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಆಚರಣ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಮನಃಶುದ್ಧಿ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಡು ಫಾರ್ ಮನಃಶುದ್ಧಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸತ್ಕರ್ಮಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ತಪಸ್ ಎ ಗುರು ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸತ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ತಪೋ ವಿದ್ಯಾಚ ವಿಪ್ರಸ್ಯ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ಸಕರಾವು ಭೌ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇನ್ ಮನುಸ್ಮೃತಿ ತಪೋ ವಿದ್ಯಾಚ ವಿಪ್ರಸ್ಯ ನಿಶ್ರೇಯ ಸಕರಾವು ಭೌ ತಪಸ ಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಹಂತಿ ವಿದ್ಯೆಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಷ್ಣುತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇನ್ ಮನುಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಸೊ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ವೇದ ತಪಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ತಪಸ ಕಲ್ಮಶಂ ಹಂತಿ ಬೈ ದ ತಪಸ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಚಿತ್ತಶುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಅವೇ ಬೈ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ಒಪ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ದೇವಹಿ ಕೈವಲ್ಯ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮನುಸ್ಮೃತಿ ದಿಸ್ ತಪಸ್ ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ನಿರತಂ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಆಫ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಗುರು and not only should he know all this he should be able to speak which is what is vagvidam varam now shishya lakshana is pure humility he should accept whatever the guru says so that is why valmiki even though there were three names ruksha prachetasa bhargava for uh, sorry brugu vamsaja for our valmiki prachetas was also another name all these three names have existed still still the name used in the shloka is valmiki it itself indicates the tapo mahima the amount of tapas that valmiki has done and the word is all, the shloka is also starting with takara takara is said to be a mangala akshara tapaha it starts with the word tapaha without tapas we can't achieve anything in life so finally tapas represents that deha abhimanam we have to leave the deha abhimana we have to control the indriyas the senses then perform the penance attain uh, jnana through uh, through a guru and uh, then we are known to be one tapasvi that kind of tapasvi so one adjective is enough for was enough for valmiki so the take away from this shloka is we have to have tapas in our life and we should be a vinayashila so the take away is be humble if you ask me what is the take away from this shloka let us all be humble like valmiki that is when we get the mahat gyana valmiki got the entire ramayana from narada because he was humble so what follows now is a series of questions to narada second shloka kon vasmin sampratan loke gunavan kascha vidyavan dharmagnyascha kritagnyascha satyavakyo drudhavrataha see you see if it was a disciple who was not a, a gyani he would have he would not have been able to ask certain intelligent questions like the way valmiki asks now valmiki does not waste time at all he straight away comes to the point no pura pitika he asks he 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 asks asmin loke in this world sampratam at present currently valid asmin loke ituthe bhuloke in the bhuloka in this earth because there are 14 lokas heaven is one of the swarga is one of the lokas bhulok then patala loka is there suvar loka is there bhuvar loka is there so many lokas are there now 
Sampratam Asmin Bhuloke, who is Gunavan, one who is with auspicious quality. Gunaha Asya Santiti Gunavan, one who is endowed with auspicious qualities, noble qualities. And he should not only be a Gunavan, he should be a Viryavan. We will understand specifically what is Viryavan mean. Though the first, le first level meaning says, says one who has Virya. Virya is valor, strength, power. Now what kind of strength? We will see that in the Vyakhyana. Dharmagnyaha. Who is that who is currently in this world? Who is living? One who is a Gunavan, Viryavan. Dharmagyaha, one who knows dharma, dharmagyaha, dharmam jana titi dharmagyaha, he who knows dharma very well. Kritagyaha, he who is grateful and who is also satyavakyaha, one who speaks truth only. Dridhavrataha, vrata means one who takes sankalpa, diksha, one who and sankalpa is Okay, we all take sankalpa that we'll do some work. Sometimes when we are when somebody asks us why you didn't do that, yes, the sankalpa was there, but later I couldn't finish complete it. That's what we say. We give some reasons for not completing the work. But our Valmiki is asking, we I need a person who is Dridavrataha, who is steadfast in his efforts, who makes sure that his efforts reach the destination. The efforts reach their phala. Who is that person? As and Sampratam, who has to be living now. We should not say 400 years, 4,000 years ago in heaven, there lived somebody. Uh, his name was some uh, uh, Shiva or some Dakshinamurti or somebody. You can't tell like that. You need to tell me some person who is present now. One who is with auspicious gunas, one who is viryavan, who is having lot of power, one who knows dharma, one who is grateful for his people, one who speaks the truth only, one who is steadfast in his efforts, one who is very, very focused in his efforts so that his efforts reach the fruits. This is the meaning of the surface meaning of this shloka. Asmin loke sampratam kaha gunavan, kaha viryavan. Kaha dharmagnyaha, kaha kritagnyaha cha, kaha satyavakya, kaha dhidavrataha cha asti. Iti prashnaha, kaha prichati, valmikihi naradam prati prichati. Very simple, very straightforward. Now, when we are understanding little bit, we will understand what is the bhava of valmiki when he is asking this question, whether it is really a question. So, first thing is, as I told you, Valmiki has an experience of Rama, meeting Rama, Lakshmana, and he has already seen. It is not that he has not seen Rama. So, he has already seen Rama, Lakshmana, and Sita, in, and he is asking this question. There are two ways in which the Shastrakaras interpret these, this set of shlokas in, in the uh, Sankshepa Ramayana. The first way is Palmiki wanted to know all these things. Therefore, he asked, he had all these things in his mind. So he asked these questions and Narada gave him the entire Ramayana, which is a straightforward way of interpretation. The other way is Valmiki had somebody in mind. He also knew Rama. He had Rama in mind. But what he had in mind he has to validate with an expert. He has to validate with an expert like Narada. So he asks this, these questions to Narada in the form of question and he says, he doesn't give the name, but he gives all the qualities of Rama because unless when you see all the qualities that he puts forth, we understand that the the qualities that he is driving makes a true, a full, complete man. 
and this can come from a heart of a person who has experienced or seen these qualities in some other person. So that is the way these questions are being put forth. So he says, that is where he is telling, he, you are, I am talking of some qualities which I have seen in Bhuloka. You are Triloka Sanchari. You roam all across the world. You are an expert. You meet a lot of people, more people than me. I am a Rishi in some ashram sitting here in Chitrakota and I spend some time. Whereas these kind of qualities, Gunavan, Viryavan, Dharmagnyaha, Kritagnyaha, Satyavakya, have you also seen all this in one person? So he makes a list of 16 qualities over the next three shlokas which he says, have you seen all these things in one person? That is what is the uh, uh, bhava of Valmiki. So the first thing is, can somebody that knew is there, asmin, konvasmin is there, no? Ko nu asmin. There is one nu, indeed. That indeed can be imp imp interpreted, konvasmin. See, can somebody be like this? This is one type of exclamatory. Is somebody there like this? This is another interpretation. There can be nobody like this except the one I am having in mind and probably the one you are going to reply. That is the way this is Baba is coming out. Because it has this Valmiki is a Maharishi, he is a Brahma Jnani. So why should he be mesmerized by human qualities? Because these Maharishis, they have a big thing to do. Whatever they do, they have to give back to the society. So Valmiki wanted to understand these qualities. He was mesmerized by the qualities of Rama. He, want, he wants to give back those qualities and validate those qualities and give back the qualities to the world so that the world is benefited by the qualities of Rama. They, even if they, if they practice one quality of Rama, they become extremely good in their lives. So many qualities. The entire Ramayana is full of Rama gunas. That is how this is uh, flowing. So these, these questions are not ordinary questions. Somebody, a shisha asking a doubt in a class, in a classroom situation. Don't think like that. This is not like that. It is a set of thoughts which Valmiki has had over a period of time. He was waiting to share this knowledge, the Swanubhava, the, his personal experience. Swanubhava, we call it in Sanskritam. He was waiting to share his Swanubhava with somebody. Narada came, suddenly he outpoured everything. He said, no, no, oh, take this. Now I am having all these things. Without even uh, waiting, whether he did not put any prelude, any questions, uh, all those things, there is not even a shloka where all these things are told straight away. He is um, entering the point and asking these questions. This has so such is the quality which uh, our uh, uh, friend is asking. The first one which, which is being discussed is Gunavan. Now Gunavan is, so Valmiki is a man of tapas. So he had a, a small balance. You can assume that he had a small balance. What is that? His tapas, his tapas shakti. Another, in another time, he had Ramas or Gunas, all the Gunas. So he weighed these two. The gunas overpowered the tapas. So that is why he wants to give this, this entire thing to the world. That is the kind of auspicious qualities he is asking. So we will be covering the Rama gunas uh, in the next set of shlokas in the answers by Narada. Hence, I will not go to what is the quality that he is asking. I will just skip that. Next is Viryavan. Now, what is this Virya? Is there a word, the difference between Virya and Parakrama? Viryavan is a person who has full, who has power. One who is fully powerful, who has power. This is not only physical power, though the surface of the shloka tends to be, looks like it is physical power, but it also represents the Audarya. Anything that is, any guna that you speak, you take any guna, that guna should be in its saturation. That is the power that should be there in that person. He is asking, is there a person? If I tell Audarya, generosity, that generosity in full power, 
Is it there in that person? If I say Karuna, compassion, is that compassion there in that person with full, is there Matru Bhakti? Suppose this is a Guna, Pitru Bhakti. Now Pitru Bhakti, how it can be, what is the saturation of a Pitru Bhakti? How full it can be? Now give me such a person who is having the highest Pitru Bhakti, highest Matru Bhakti, highest Audarya, highest Karuna, by telling that Viryavan, by telling this word Viryavan. So our Viryavan is, there are two interpretations of Viryavan. When there is Vikara, Vikara Hetushu Satsu Avikritattvam Viryam. When you have something to disturb you, deform you, even then you don't get disturbed, but you become, you come out of it successfully and you are full. Then you are called Viryavan. In, in a battle, suppose in a Yuddha, the other meaning of Viryavan is in a Yuddha, when you fight, you should not get yourself caught in danger. Some people go for a fight. They will start the fight. Afterward, they get caught themselves. Then at 100 people, again, they have, you have to send a force, extra force to release them. That is not the way a Virya, Viryavan fights. He goes, he does not get himself caught in danger. He wins over the enemies and he comes back. That is the Viryavan that uh, Valmiki is asking. Gunavan, Viryavan. Next thing you see, you can say Ravana was also Viryavan. Ravana had all these qualities, Viryavan. But the next point is Dharmagnyaha. Dharmam Janatiti Dharmagnyaha. Here the Sukshna, the important thing that we should know is he who knows Dharma, he who can explain it to everyone. See, when Rama goes to forest, he uh, Kausalya says, I will also come to forest. But Rama explains to Kausalya, you are my mother. You are the wife of Dasaratha. And the duty of a wife is to be near her husband. So you have to be near her husband. And he tells her her dharma and convinces her. Same way, he tells dharma to Vasishta when Vasishta tries to tell something in Ayodhya Kanda regarding coming back to Ayodhya. Jabali. Jabali is a Maharishi who tells Nastika Vada, who preaches something. He also tries to convince Rama, now that Dasharatha is dead, why are you worried about his uh, promise and other things? Please come back and rule Ayodhya. So this is what they all advise. But he uh, tells everybody their particular dharma uh, and he convinces them such that they are not hurt. See, first thing is telling dharma is very easy. When you tell dharma, other person feels hurt. So, but Rama, he, he gives solutions inside dharma without hurting anyone. Such kind of, and the solution he gave to Bharata. Bharata kept on arguing that you have to come, you are the eldest person. Only eldest person can take over the kingdom. How can you um, think that I will rule the kingdom? He kept on arguing. He kept on giving valid arguments. Rama kept on arguing, Pitruvakya Paripalanam is above everything. So now, what was the solution? Bharata was not at all heeding. Suddenly, Rama comes up with a solution and says, take my Paduka. This is a representation of me. Keep the Paduka and start ruling. You see how he gives a solution, dharmic solution. Only a person of high, high knowledge of Dharma can give such solutions. He gives a solution to Bharata that you take the Paduka. It is as though I am there. See, what is this Paduka? I will explain why Paduka is very important in uh, when the story comes again here. I will explain that. So he, he has given a solution without hurting anyone. Hence, all this has happened in Chitrakuta. Now you see, Valmiki is a very good observer. He has observed all this in Chitrakuta. Dharmagnyaha. So he is the one who knows Dharma, who can influence uh, uh, to who can influence others to follow dharma without anybody getting hurt mentally or physically in that in the journey that is why ramo vigrahavan dharma our uh, maricha when he explains to ravana he says if you have a murti for dharma if somebody asks what is dharma okay what is dharma if somebody asks if you prepare a sketch of dharma that dharma sketch that is prepared by an artist is Rama. 
ಸೊ ಧರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಧರ್ಮ ರಾಮೋ ವಿಗ್ರಹವಾನ್ ಧರ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮ ದ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ವಾಟ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ದ ಧರ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಪರಮ ದುರ್ಜ್ಞೇಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಡ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಧರ್ಮಜ್ಞ ಕೃತಜ್ಞ ಕೃತಂ ಜಾನಾತಿ ಇತಿ ಕೃತಜ್ಞ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ದೋ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಅವತಾರ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಕೃತಜ್ಞ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟು ಹೂಮ್ ಡಸ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ದಿ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಶೋರ್ ದ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಭೂಲೋಕ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಡೆಮನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಾಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡೂ ಯಾಗಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ ದ ಯಾಗ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಡೂ ದೇ ಡೂ ದೋಸ್ ಯಾಗಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಪರಸ್ಪರಂ ಭಾವಯಂತ ಶ್ರೇಯ ಪರಮ ವಾಪ್ಸತ ಸೊ ದೇ ಡೂ ಯಾಗಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ನೌ ದೀಸ್ ರಾಕ್ಷಸಾಸ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ ದೀಸ್ ಯಾಗಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ರಿಷೀಸ್ ಡೂ because it is increasing the strength of the devas first of all devas and asuras are always fighting it increases the strength of the devatas so they are they always want to trouble the rishis now the rishis initially they were staying in chitrakuta and in lot of places now when rama comes to chitrakuta after bharata comes and all this incident happens the rishis they move towards inner inner side of the forest because they think okay all first of all we are here to do tapas and yaga when when the entire ayodhya city has come to to convince rama to go back to ayodhya that means the population has increased chitrakuta is, a, is has become a tourist spot now people are going to come there and every 15 days there somebody should think i i want to see rama what is he doing with sita let us go and enjoy there in his ashrama they will say let us have a retreat there they may come so the rishi says now that uh, this kind of a environment is created we will go inside now rama wants to be grateful he starts go when he sees that the rishis have gone inside the forest he also does not stay in chitrakuta and he goes inside the forest he could have ideally stayed in chitrakuta till his 14 years exile finished and returned back he didn't stay he wanted his avatar karya was to kill the rakshasas he wanted to free the rishis from their uh, difficulties which is why he was kritagnya what were the rishis doing they were praying for the lokakshema and they were praying for the devatas and they were praying for his welfare so he thought if rishis are praying for our welfare we have to do our duties towards our rishis that is kill the Ra- he is be he being a kshatriya he has to be a kritagnya that is a kind of quality which valmiki has in mind and he is asking kritagnya is there a person who is grateful like this satya vakya satya vakya so in any instruction you give you follow the truth you take instruction or you give instruction you follow the truth so we all know of the satya sandha rama the proof of this thing is there in the story in the story in when lakshmana when he wants to kill indrajit what he does dharmaatma satya sandhascha ramo dasarati yadi if the, if rama is dharmaatma and satya sandha let this bana kill indrajit that is what he says you see he is using only two things dharmaatma dharma present inside rama and satya if rama is a satya sandha so that way the seeds of rama's quality are mainly these two dharma and satya that is what is indicated here that is the dridav vrata so his vrata was to protect the rishis in one shloka he says dadam yetat vartam mama anybody who comes and takes refuge in me i will give them protection that was another vrata we teach which he took so many vratas here or sankalpas he takes and he follows and he is steadfast in all this he is determined so the take away for us from shloka number 2 is we also have to be steadfast in our vratas our uh, sankalpas first thing is we should have a sankalpa many of us sometimes do not have a sankalpa or a goal or something we should have a goal for ourselves dharmic goal for ourselves and we should follow and be steadfast in that goal that is the message which is being given in the 
the second shloka with this we go to the third shloka which is a continuation of valmiki's question or thoughts charitrena chako yuktaha sarva bhuteshu kohitaha vidwan kaha ka samarthascha kaschaika priya darshanah now again he is telling asmin loke tampratam that you have to take from the previous shloka kaha charitrena yuktaha who is having a great character what character charitrena ko yuktaha sarva bhuteshu ko hitaha sarva bhuta bhuta doesn't refer to ghost or anything in some uh, in kannada we say bhuta is a ghost bhuta means pancha bhuta living beings sarva bhuta generally bhuta is living beings sarva bhuteshu all living beings sarva bhuteshu ko hitaha who thinks of the welfare of all living beings vidwan who is a scholar samarthaha who is samarthaha who is skillful in worldly transactions that is what one of the commentators said samartha is who is capable who is kascha eka priya darshana who is having looks such that everybody says that he is beautiful anybody in this world if they see rama they should say that he is beautiful see we have this miss universe miss india miss all these contests one of the if suppose that judge did, did not like so there will be a rating system one judge will like one person another judge will like one person that is how they put the ratings so beauty is relative it is in the eyes of the beholder but with respect to rama it is not that kascha eka priya darshana anybody who sees him they feel that okay he is the most beautiful person i have met that is from the physical looks kascha eka priya darshana he has not only the physical looks it is also talking of other looks so the question the the main artha is who is that person who has great character who is good to all beings who is a scholar vidwan who is a pandita who is skillful or uh, samartha or capable and who is of who is beautiful or who is handsome who is having very good looks such that everybody feels that he is the mr universe that is what they feel that is how they feel this is the bhava first the out, outline of this shloka but if you go deeper charitrena chako yukta what is this character see one who is fully good in his character one who thinks about others one who participates in the sukha dukha of others one who is respected by all and one who gives equal respect to others others character he gives equal respects to others character one who worships for others one who one whom others worship see these are the charitras which rama has rama prays for everybody he does samskara to jatayu he does he takes care of uh, all the people all the living beings other living beings also take care of him they worship him he worships for them they worship him they worship for him all this is happening this is a kind of charitra the great character that they are talking sarva bhuteshu ko hitah sarva bhuteshu see here why that sarva they could have put bhuteshu ko hitah why that sarva instead of that some other word could have been there sarva bhuta refers to even a living being who has who has committed a mistake see i will be good to somebody who is good to me that everybody is uh, there but our friend rama he is good to people who is not good to him also what is an example do you have an example sir so and we are talking of chitrakuta where valmiki has must have experienced it so in sundara kanda we have the kakasura prasanga where sita gi tells hanuman about a private incident between rama and sita where sita was lying on the lap of rama kakasura ka, indra san disguised in the form of a kaka and uh, he comes and pierces the chest of sita and blood pours from there and the blood falls on rama and rama gets extremely angry and he gives a he takes the grass and he releases the brahmastra which chases the crow all over and the he come and the crow comes back and finally he gives uh, 
abhaya to that uh, crow and does not kill that crow on the recommendation of sita by see when sita tells okay it's okay you leave this person so he releases that crow instead of killing that crow he just takes out the eye and releases that crow sarva bhuteshu kohitah and this incident happened in chitrakuta but the story is told in sundara kanda by sita to hanuman where she tells that this happened in chitrakuta now sarva bhuteshu kohitah that now kakasura is a person who did a mistake he was also forgiven by rama that is an example of that is why sarva is put here sarva bhuteshu kohitah vidwan jatayu jatayu see you can say that he kaka is there jatayu is a he didn't do any mistake he helped him but jatayu was a bird for jatayu rama performed the uh, last rites as though he, a rites are performed to a father and in chitrakuta and the other places godavari mandakini mandakini nadi when he talks to sita he talks to her like telling see see hey sita you you are telling that you don't have friends in the forest you see mandakini nadi this mandakini nadi is your friend you talk to mandakini nadi she is flowing as though she wants to talk to you this mriga this deer she, it is your friend this these animals are your friend why don't you talk to them that is the way rama introduces Uh, to sita the chitrakuta and the forest so that she feels comfortable and she is not afraid this is all there in valmiki ramayana now this kind of uh, introduction the of sarvabhuta hitatva he is giving to sita also only when he is sarvabhuteshu hita he can give he can tell others you also uh, be in part with the nature he and the amount of trees and plants and other things that is mentioned in ramayana is uh, innumerable so this is sarvabhuteshu kohitah vidwan vidwan when we analyze this vidwan sarva shastragya only when we you know all the shastras all the dharmas the 100th sarga in ayodhya kanda which is called kachit sarga is one sarga is enough to understand what is the knowledge that rama had uh and how he imparts that knowledge to bharata he says kachit sarga he asks um, in your kingdom is this happening is this happening is this happening like the way he talks to bharata so that itself shows he is a great scholar and the, all the uh, shlokas in that sarga talk of eka- economy dharmartha kamam except moksha they call they talk about all the things so he is a sarva shastragya and that is why uh he is called as vidwan and this entire thing happened in chitrakuta and valmiki has seen this that is why he is telling sarva shastragnya vidwan vidwan samarthah samarthah hi sarva karya durandarah one who manages people and situations in such a way that and there should be no selfish motive remember many times there are intelligent leaders who manage situations such that it is favorable to them okay they manage the situation very well everybody feels it is everything good but rama was never like that he manages people and situations such a way without a selfish motive and one example is bharata see the solution that he gave to bharata of giving the paduka and making him go there and rule the kingdom with the help of paduka now the ayodhya vasis they were very very angry with bharata they thought that bharata was involved in, with kaikeyi in to send rama to forest they were always cursing him now when bharata said let us go and bring rama they said okay bharata is good let us see what is he is he, is he able to bring back rama to ayodhya let us go with him they all came back came behind with him now bharata if he was unsuccessful in bringing rama to ayodhya he, the ayodhya some amount of ayodhya people who went there they must have praised bharata they said okay you tried your best but you couldn't do it they could have praised bharata but bharata but rama was made sure that bharata also is held with high respect in the minds of the ayodhya vasis how did he do that he gave the paduka so what bharata did he kept paduka and he didn't uh, see he said that paduka is ruling i am only a representative now you see both bharata and rama became great in front of ayodhya vasis now this kind only a samartha a person who is capable 
can do this. This is Samarthya. How skillfully he manages the world and the transactional world and situations and the people's emotions without any selfish motive. He didn't have any selfish motive. He gave his Paduka itself and this was the uh, greatest uh, point of Samarthya which Valmiki has seen and yet this is why this is called a Samarthya. Asadhya Karyani Yaha Sadhaitum Samarthaha Saha Samarthaha Iti Uchate Tasya Samarthya Masti Iti Uchate See Rakshasanam Hananam Killing Indrajit Kumbakarna also is talks of his Samarthya uh, killing Wali also talks of his Samarthya but this kind of a situation where without any selfish motive he dis he he manages the the uh, situation that is that uh, is one example which speaks great about his samarthya kas chaika priyadarshanah so when you see somebody you feel like you sometimes you some people like some people do not like here everybody likes rama <clears throat> So the sentiment of Priya, suppose even a Krodha Yukta Purusha, when he sees Rama, he will think, oh, the sentiment of Priya will come in him. We, the Rishis, when they see him, they want, they Ramante Yoginaha Yasmin, Rama, Iti Ramaha, Rama, Ramante Yoginaha Yasmin, in whom the yogis uh, rejoice. He is Rama. They become so transformed that later they say we want to see only Rama. After they see Rama, they want to see only Rama. That is the transformation which happens. Even Maricha, Kaikei, everybody are mesmerized by uh, Rama's Priyadarshana. So this shloka uh, not only speaks of the Rupa Lavanya and the handsomeness, other things of Rama, it is only about 10 to 20 percent, but the impact of sound, suppose impact of soundarya plus guna, both if it happens in a person, how it should, it can happen. And such a person I am looking forward, O Narada, Valmiki is asking, can you help me to find such a person? Is there, is, is such a person existing now? Atmavan ko jitakrodaha, we will go to the next loka. Atmavan ko jitakrodaha. Dutiman kona su yakaha, Kasya bibhati devascha, Jatarosha sayuge Atmavan, one who is happy within himself, one who is having self knowledge, one who is self controlled, he is Atmavan. Jitakrodaha, one who has control over the anger. Dutiman, one who has a brilliance or an effulgence in the face that attracts all the world. Anasuya kaha, one who is free from asuya, free from envy. Kasya bibhyati devascha. Suppose he is on a battlefield. Will the devas be afraid of him? If angry on the battlefield, will he be feared by the devas? Such a person we want. That is the search of Advanced search of Valmiki. It is not an ordinary search. It's an advanced search. He is giving one one word. He is telling first he gave Gunavan, Viryavan, Dharmagya, Satyasan, the advanced search. One one word he is giving. It is not a Google ordinary search. He is telling now Jata Roh Sanyuge. Even the Devas should be afraid of him in a battlefield. Such a person you give me. So now If we go a little bit deeper into this shloka, Atmavan represents that person who has, who knows who he is, who has Atmajnana, whose actions does not create any bad impact. Such is a person called Atman. Today we have Yatis or Mathadipatis of Shingari Mat, different Mats. All these Mathadipatis when they do any action, they are very careful. It should not create any bad effect on the society or bad impact on even a single person. That is the way they behave. So such those people are called Atma. They should have Atma Jnanam and they should have 
their their actions should not create any problems to others in the society jitakrodaha see if he had if he was angry the kaka sura kaka prasanga he should have killed kaka but he he was okay to forgive kaka sura though he had the anger he released the arrow but because of sita's recommendation he knows to control his anger also and one more example for jitakrodha is maranantani vairani nivrittan of prayojanam after ravana's death he calls uh, vibhishana and says all my enmity with rama is over now please perform the last rites for him it is our duty so he tells vibhishana to perform the last rites so there are various instances where he has controlled his anger he will see that when narada vakya also in narada vakya also we will see dyuti man atishaya prakashavan <clears throat> what is the dyuti that we are talking here dyuti is the 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 radiance around a person when you go near that person you will be there are some people when you go near those people you will feel very calm such is that per, the brilliance of that person such is the aura of that person so that kind of a person is tyutiman if you consider tasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati that is what vedanta says so tyutiman is atishaya prakasha anas then anasuya kaha this is very important what is the difference between asuya asuya means you see somebody who is having good qualities you try to put bad qualities on top of their good qualities see he has all good qualities but you see he has this bad quality so guneshu dosha avishkaranam asuya iti uchyate guneshu dosha avishkaranam you search for a dosha in the gunas of a person that is called asuya as per our shastra so anasuya kaha he is not a person first of all if a person is there who is uh uh who who is having bad qualities rama is that person who will try to find one good quality in him like he is that kind of person forget about his asuyatva at all jata roshasya sanyuge kasya bibhari devascha so this kaka sura prasanga only this uh, ka kaka the indra son goes to his father indra indra says i cannot protect you he goes to brahma brahma says i cannot protect you he goes to shiva shiva says i cannot protect you so uh, when rama has released an arrow no other devas they will never try to stop that arrow it is evident from that kaka sura prasanga in chitrakut so now kasya vibhari devascha jata roshasya sanyuge with this uh, valmiki has listed 16 qualities of a complete person and this is my swanubhava or my experience and uh, he is sharing it he is sharing them as a question so he is asking can i uh, think can you tell of that person who is having these 16 qualities now comes the uh, fifth shloka etad icham yaham shrotum परं कौतूहल हिमे महर्षे समर्थोसी ज्ञातमे विधन्नर हे महर्षे नो नारद भगवान इज लिसनिंग टू ऑल दीज एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ दि महर्षि वाल्मीकि नौ हिस् मैंड इज इन ब्लिस सर्प्रईज अट द वे वाल्मीकि हाज अबर्व दीज क्वालिटी अंड हिस् आस्किंग दीज कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन तो हिस् he is listening to this and this is the last shloka which uh, the uh, which uh, valmiki is telling etad ichami aham shrotum all that which i have told ichami i would like to shrotum to listen param kautuhalam i have extreme curiosity though i am a rishi and atmagyani i want to listen to that person i want to know that person who is having all these qualities this curiosity is increased now that i have shared with you it is increased further because you are there to give the answer see the curiosity it was there in his mind it it grew in his mind 
he wanted to outpour suddenly narada came he outpoured it now his curiosity has increased further what is the answer for this our children when they ask a question or when you want to get to know the result today result of uh, cbse 10th standard is going to come they are very curious at the last moment to see what is going to happen because they have performed well so uh, curious to know uh, what he has there so narada bhagwan is thinking now with this energy valmiki has asked these questions am i capable enough to answer this question see just uh, probably a thought might have come into the head immediately our valmiki says maharshi tum samarthho si oh maharshi don't think that you are unable to answer this you are the person who can answer this nyatum etat you are the person who can answer this maharshi he maharshi aham etat shrotu vichami i would like to hear from you he doesn't say i would like your answer he says see now you see the bhava which i am telling he says aham shrotum ichami he is not telling aham uh, mama prashna anam uttaram deyam like that he is not telling he is telling aham shrotum ichami i would like to hear from you what is your experience of such qualities whether you are the triloka sanchari you go all around the world if you are i have i can only validate with you because you see in pura in another purana there is a story of how narada uh converts in valmiki ramayana it is not there valmiki was a uh, was a um, uh hunter ratnakara was his name he became maharshi valmiki after narada came and gave him the upadesh of rama nama he says mara mara he became rama rama mara became rama and he did the rama japan so previous uh, experience of narada and valmiki is there he says you are the person because you have converted me from a hunter to a rishi from rishi after i met rama and other things i became a maharishi by my tapas and other things now i want to find out who is that great person who is having all these 16 qualities and i have my experience i have somebody in mind now, even if i have a question i want to validate with you you are the right person you who have transformed so many people you have who you have answered many uh, people because you are the person who is going around um, just like how i see these qualities you also see these qualities i i see all these qualities in if i see a, if i am trying to see all these qualities in one person you also must have seen such a man why why don't you reply you are the best person to reply you are indeed capable of knowing such a man this with this uh, he completes his uh, his entire questions from the 6th uh, shloka we will see tomorrow the first 20 shlokas will take some time he will not be able to do 10 shlokas per day as per the calculation first 20 shlokas we will have to spend more time because each of these has got some inner import the background etc etc as and when we go when we enter the story from the ayodhya kanda because all the the story is similar we can quickly go through the words and other things